Howard Dean made these comments about American Sniper. There's a lot of anger in this country, and the people who go see this movie are people who are very angry. And this guy basically says, I'm going to fight on your side. And they bite, bite for it. I, I, th- I think there's some, I bet you if you looked at uh, a cross section of the Tea Party and people who go to see this movie, there's a lot of intersection. I, ca- I can't take these attacks on American Sniper because the freedom that he has to be an idiot and open his mouth is because of brave military men like Chris Kyle, who's featured in this mega hit. It drives me nuts. I love the movie. I really I did. It. I thought it was very realistic, like Hurt Locker, very realistic. I was there 12 times, I know. Uh, Bradley Cooper was fantastic as an it actor. Was. As an actor, and just one quick thing about snipers and all the left wing criticizing snipers. Snipers reduce collateral damage. Snipers reduce civilian casualties by killing the killers and not causing, uh, you know, it's not like an artillery shell that kills the bad guy and 20 other people. You know, ironically, I have more respect for Michael Moore, who puts his cards on the table and leaves them there, because you know Howard Dean still believes what he said. Yeah, he tried to back off. That's exactly right, and that pusillanimous putz of Seth Rogen, who uh, when the going got tough with uh, the Sony picture, instead of extolling the uh, virtues of free speech and going on TV, he canceled appearances, he wet his pants, he sucked his thumb like a little girl. (laughs) I mean, America stepped up for him and he sympathized with the terrorists. It's really How about Howard Dean making judgments about who were the people going to see this movie, and he hadn't seen it. He hadn't been in a theater yeah, that's to another see thing. that movie. All right, Whoops. let me...